2016 is over. It's done. It's finished. 2017 begins. So I thought that the start of a new year would be the perfect opportunity to get a new computer. So I have. My old computer isn't dying. It was just underpowered for the plans that I've got this year. I'm so excited. It's going to be a great year for the channel. So buckle in for that. And although by the end of this video the PC will be built, I won't actually be recording on it until about halfway through January because I pre-recorded some videos to have some time off at Christmas and I've got to re-download all the games and mods and stuff for Minecraft etc and get that all running flawlessly. Anyway, that's enough rambling for now. Let's talk about the shiny new PC parts themselves. For the case, we're using the Corsair 570X. Hands down, the most beautiful case I have ever seen in my life. Four of the sides are tempered glass and comes with three pre-installed 120mm RGB LED fans with a controller compatible with up to six, which we ended up doing. Uh, we had another three 120mm RGB LED fans and installed those to give us a total of six. Inside the case is so much room. You're certainly not limited on space. Uh, if you were doing a full water-cooled system, there's actually a really nice area at the front of the computer to mount your pump and reservoir. For radiator support, uh, you can fit pretty much any size radiator that you want in here on either the front or the top. We mounted our radiator on the top because it had this really cool, unique, I think, uh, removable section of the case to allow you to mount the radiator um, like outside of the case and then install it all back in as one. Very, very handy, very, very useful. On the back, we've got two 3.5 millimeter slots for your hard drives and two 2.5 millimeter slots for your SSDs and three dust filters. One dust filter on the front, one dust filter on the top and one dust filter underneath where the power supply is. Uh, two of them are magnetic and the bottom one is like a slide in, slide out thing. For cable management, we've got that covered as well. Uh, they've got three, I don't know what you'd call them, like little rubber grommets or something that allows you to push the uh, wires through into the back. Very, very neat. Uh, and on the back side, there's this... A uh, piece of metal, which I like to call the cable tunnel. Uh, that just allows you to hide all of the cables uh, neatly inside there. So you don't have this giant mess of wires uh, inside of the case. On the top of the case, we obviously have the power button. But we also have the controllers for the LED fans as well. The first button being color, the second button being speed, and the third button being mode. Uh, we then got a headphone and microphone jack and two USB slots. The motherboard is the MSI H170 Gaming M3. I chose this because it has the red and black color scheme, which sort of goes throughout this build. It looks really nice. Supports up to 64 megabytes of RAM. Has eight, eight USBs on it. Yeah, four 2.0s and four 3.1s. Uh, 5.1 surround sound and a HDMI and DVI on the back. For the CPU, I went with an i7-6700K running out of the box at 4.0 gigahertz with a turbo boost of 4.2. To keep the CPU cool, I'm using an AIO water-cooled system, the Corsair H100i version 2 240mm radiator. For memory, I've got 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LED DDR4 RAM in two 8GB sticks. A KFA2 GeForce GTX 1080 EXOC, extreme overclock, apparently 8GB GPU, running a base clock of 1657 and a boost clock of 1797, however with some overclocking you could certainly get this over 2000MHz. On the back is three display ports, one DVI-D and one HDMI. One Corsair 4 Series Force LE 240GB SSD, an ordinary 1TB hard drive, and for power, we're using the Corsair RM750X 750W fully modular 80 plus gold certified PSU.
So now the PC is ready to go, it's time to do some benchmarks. Now we didn't have time to do any overclocking on the system yet, we'll do that at a later date. So keep in mind that all of these results are from out of the box performance from all of the components. All of the benchmarks will be running on the highest settings possible at 1080p. My monitors don't go any higher than that so I can't test for 4K. Okay, so in Fire Strike 1.1 we got a score of 16,890, making it quote, better than 94% of all results apparently. Now, as I said just a moment ago, this system has no overclocking on it whatsoever. This is all out of the box factory performance, and I reckon with some overclocking, we should be able to push into the 4K gaming PC category, but we're well above gaming PC, which is way down on 9,271, so I'm very, very happy with that result. Grand Theft Auto 5 ran amazingly, sticking at around 100 frames a second, often peaking into 120. But what about the most important benchmark of all? The one we're most interested in? Minecraft. Well, with a render distance of 32 chunks and all other settings maxed out, we average at around 200 frames per second. You're going to have to take my word for it, but I use a program called OBS to record my Minecraft videos, and it does significantly impact your frames per second. Off camera, while not recording, I usually average around 360 to 380 frames per second, but while recording, it does drop down to about 200. But curiosity did get the better of me. For a laugh, and for no other reason, I wanted to see how high we could get the frames per second to go in Minecraft. So I made a very unrealistic circumstance, dropping the settings down as low as they could possibly go, and looking up into the air to render as little blocks as possible, allowing us to reach 3,777 frames per second. I wouldn't recommend playing the game on these settings, but it would make a very smooth experience. So that's about it. The PC is now done and ready to use. I've just got to download a few more programs and get the settings just how I like them, and we'll be able to record videos on this machine until hopefully the end of time. However, there is one thing that I need your help with. A name for the computer. Every computer should have its own name. The Black Death. Blue Lightning. I can't think of a really cool one, so leave your suggestions down in the comment section below, and if I find one that I really, really like, I shall use that. Finally, I'd like to say a big special thanks to Corsair for making this build happen, and if you're interested in any of the parts that I used in this build, they are all linked in the description below. Oh yeah, and because this PC sits on top of my desk, unlike the old machine that sat underneath it, it has required me to have a bit of a shuffle round of my setup. If you guys are interested in seeing a 2017 setup video of mine, then hit that like button to let me know, and we'll be able to go through the keyboard and the mouse and the software I use and the microphone that I have and how it all works and fits together and the green screen and the lights. And I'll link all of those bits in the description of the next video. So hit that like button if you want to see that. And we shall see you in the next episode.